Hello, my name is Henry, and why do I get these Hurt Rogan thumbnails in my mental computer? Well, anyways, I'm going to show you why I get why I have so many of the Hurt Rogan thumbnails. Actually, they can be caused in many different ways to cause... A Hurt Rogan TV problem. To cause a Kill Rogan computer problem. It starts off with a setup question. And then something has to cause, something has to, something has to act up first. Now that's how you can get, that's how to cause a Kill Rogan TV problem. Now, I'm going to show you why these thumbnails are in my imagination, in my brain. Well, it's because they are viruses, but they are very much similar to computer viruses. Now, as you can see, human computers can have viruses. I know very much about why they can have viruses how they could be infected by viruses and all that stuff. I very much feel to realize that anything containing to the containing to the mental computer has a bunch of negative thoughts like hurt Rogan TV and all that stuff like kill Rogan TV. You never know kill Rogan TV. But do you know what Kill Rogan TV does go with? It can cause, it can cause, it can cause, a, it, could, it could cause FCC censorship corrupt, corruption. It could cause FCC censorship corruption. That's why I'm not able to bleep out things in school. Because be like, Kill Rogan, Kill Rogan up, oh, need to bleep this out, Kill Rogan, I can't because it's broken. It could cause FCC censorship corruption. It could do damage to the clean version settings. It could do damage to the clean version modes. As much corruption it causes upon the clean version mode, the clean version modes is as much corruption it could be upon, it could cause for every clean version mode to not work anymore. Seriously. There's a bunch of corruption caused upon clean version modes. However, most of the clean version modes are broken. If you are not willing upon whatever clean version mode there is, the damage in the clean version modes will get will get even bigger. Right along with Hurt Rogan TV. The only time to receive Kill Rogan pop-ups is due to uh, clean version corruption. That's the only time you may receive a Kill Rogan pop-up on your mental computer. Now what this is telling you, that if you get the same thing with a Hurt Selena message. If you get, if your computer... If you're making videos about hurting Selena, it's probably that firewall. If you're making videos about hurting Selena, then you need to go in your imagination because there might be something wrong with your imaginary computer. It might be angry or it itself might be making you angry. So something bad with your imaginary computer can occur to viruses Rather if it's I rather if it's hurt Selena or hurt Rogan. Those often then times are bad viruses, really bad. If you are making hurt Selena videos or you're making hurt Rogan videos, if you're making hurt Rogan videos, you have to go on the computer and check those firewalls. Make sure that they're working good. If it's not the firewall, then it's probably something else. That could be the cause of the problem. Now, usually, a Hurt Selena video is usually made during 
during firewall corruption on pretend computers. But Hurt Rogan is a lot made when your your mental when your mental machine is corrupted, and you have to fix that because a lot of these imaginary computers are not going to have an option to censor anymore because of due to the damages of clean version corruption. In school, my censoring version worked quite a lot fine. But if I'm angry, that's the only time my censoring mode or my censoring system does not work because I can't bleep out certain words anymore because the FC the FCC censoring my FCC censoring system crashed so the radio editing and the censoring system crashed so that's why I'm not able to censor any cursing however my censoring system crashed it needs some updates for real and don't launch don't ever launch Kill Rogan TV without having censoring mode on because it's going to require you to turn on censoring mode or otherwise if you don't turn on censoring mode, you could get in big trouble by, by the people that Rogan came from. You could get in trouble by the people that Rogan came from. So make sure... You turn your allow hurt Selena songs off, or you just turn it down. You put it at five. If you put it at six, and it's not, then it's not cool because you're gonna make a mess all over the place. If you put your, if you adjust your hurt Selena allow songs firewall to like three, it will be. Working a little bit probably it will be probably lowered, but at the same time it will still be receiving It will still be downloading ideas on how to make hurt Selena songs, but it will be downloading them a little bit Because it's not as high as you would see Those are not as high those songs Can be dangerous so that's why you want to turn your firewall on, even in your even even on your imaginary computer, even if your computer is real or imaginary or even pretend. Always keep the firewall on. The firewall is the one that protects you from the music, from the garbage that's allowing hurt Selena songs, opening it to hurt Selena songs, new hurt Selena songs. Getting released. If you don't fix that as fast as you can, your computer is going to get into even more problems and you have to fix your setup question alerts because you need your setup question protection. If you don't fix the firewall, you're not going to have setup question protection. That's how you get setup question protection. And here's an easy way you can get setup question protection. Go on the internet, in, in your imagination, make a program for yourself, and call it Setup Question Protect, or Protective. So, if you want you, want you edit your program, you name it Setup Question Protection, you can go back and try doing those programs again. Naming one setup question protection and naming the other one setup question protective because those programs take so much place inside the imaginary computer, which setup question protected programs are really meant to help your computer, but at the same time. All of them, all of the setup question protected coded programs are meant to keep your computer safe, but some of them are 
some setup question protected code programs are some setup question protective coded programs are meant to destroy the computer and make it a lot vulnerable to viruses and attacks if you are not careful with your security settings you could mess up another part of your computer if you are not careful of what you're doing on the security settings, you could mess up a second, you could mess up the last piece of your computer. So it's obviously better that you be careful and you have someone do it for you, like in your imagination. Or call the spirits out for help. That's all you gotta do. Call the spirits out for help. They will fix your imaginary computer and get it working good, protecting from, protected from setup questions and viruses. So that's it for today. We talked all about keeping imaginary and real machines safe. So yeah, that's how you that's how you protect your system. Because you don't want nothing bad happening to your computer or it's not going to work properly. And you got to get rid of the viruses. You got to remove the viruses. You can remove them from the antivirus systems. You can remove them using those types of devices.